Tammy Horton, welcome to Speakers Tribe Conference 2020 in the Gold Coast, Australia, Tammy, and welcome to Speakers Tribe TV. Thank you. It's very, very exciting to have you as one of our 10x speakers this afternoon. And Tammy, you spoke about something that's very close to my heart, and uh, I think you called your talk as the, the uh, about the Phoenix, the story of the mm. Phoenix, and this is also uh, very personal to you. Um, yeah, so. Can you share with us who Tammy Horton is and what you're really passionate about? Yeah. Okay, so I'm a mum of three beautiful girls. I have um, was a public servant for a very long time and experienced bullying in the workplace, but more so had a domestic violence background with psychological abuse. And so my passion has kind of developed since I left that relationship six years ago or seven years ago now and I now am just so passionate about sharing a message of regenerating when things seem to be at their absolute darkest and you might be contemplating suicide that there is another way out and that you've just got to ask for help and you might need to ask for help a lot of times but eventually someone will hear you and then you can start to rebuild and regenerate. So, and I use the phoenix as a methodology to explain all of that. Yes, it's a beautiful symbol. Yeah. Yep. So tell me if you wouldn't mind just sharing with us, what was the catalyst seven years ago that have transformed you from the small you and that really took out the big you and made a decision that I am going to rise above this? What was that one thing that really changed us, the shift in your mind to let yourself shine? Oh, that's yeah. interesting. Um, the thing that made the shift was there was someone that took an interest in me and made me feel beautiful and wanted and which made me realize that the relationship I was in was not making me feel beautiful or wanted it kept me silent mm. and so I and the story that I told with my talk today that really was the final point because I'm someone that wants to help people and for me not to care mm that my husband was attempting suicide in the bed next to me just really made me realise that I was not the person that I wanted to be. So I had to get out and had to change. And since then, I've done a lot of personal development work. I've met lots of people. I've started to learn this and reconnected back to music. And it's just kind of gone from one layer to another layer to another layer. and. Now you can't shut me up yeah. because... <laughs> That's beautiful. Yeah. Thank you for sharing that. The reason I asked that question is because um, I am also a survivor of abuse. And so I know um, what you go through. And I think that there's a lot of women out there um, that could be going through, have gone through, mm. or someone close to them are going through the same thing. And we can really help them by just sharing our message. And I think it's important to let them know that in that transformation period, there is a lot of fun, you know, because there is a lot of fear for a lot of women. Oh, um, should I make the decision? But they sh I, I want to show them, and I'd, I'd like for you to share with me um, this experience of showing them, if you could sh share with them one fun experience about transforming yourself into a powerful woman, what would that be? Um, fun experience? You get to know yourself when you trust, trust what's going on in your heart. And that's one of the big things, it's the heart, if the decision feels right in your heart, then it's a true thing. And it bring, if it's bringing you joy and it makes your heart beat faster, then just do it. Now, it could be playing music. It could be reading stories. It could be you know, um, doing hobbies or going out for a night with the girlfriends and just dancing the night away. You've got to find things that bring yeah. you joy. But when you're in that situation, sometimes you can't see joy and you don't think there's a way out. But ask for help because the help is out there and those that have been through it can help you get out. Yep, yep, yep. So ask for help and then um, know that if you decide from the heart, fear does not live in the heart and so that will be yeah. the joyful decision. Tammy, this conversation we have to continue offline. I have truly enjoyed this time with you and thank you for being with me. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank All you right. so much. Okay.